Hello and welcome to a new video from the module series. In this video we're going to discover the random module. And the random module is one you will likely come across many times in your Python programming career. And as the name suggests, it's designed to create random numbers or letters. So as with the other Python modules, you will need to import it before you can use it. So let's go ahead and import random. And let's start by printing simple numbers between 1 and 5. So we'll use the print statement, then we'll use the random module dot a method called randint. And the randint method returns random integer in a certain range that you would specify. So in this case we want a number between 0 and 5. But before we run that, I just named the file random.py which is absolutely wrong. Don't name your file random. Okay, so let's try that. Python random underscore file dot py and we get four. If we run that again, we get one, four, five, and so on. Now let's try with bigger sets of numbers. We can include floating point values, for instance. So we can extend the range by using the multiplication sign. Just first, let me add a comment. Here we want to print random float. So let's go ahead and print random dot a method called random. And the random method is used to display a floating point number. And we can extend that, as I said, by using the asterisk or the multiplication sign and any number that we want, which will be the ceiling. So if we will say 100, we won't get a random floating number bigger than 100. So let's try it. We get 37.53. Try it again. We'll get a different value. Okay. And this is around 15 decimal points right here. And random module isn't used exclusively for numbers. I mean, you can use it to select an entry from a list, for instance. So let's comment this line out and let's add another comment here. So if we will use the random module dot a method called choice and choice method chooses a random element from a sequence and our sequence will be a list of different programming languages. So we'll say Python, right, all back end languages. And let's assign this to a variable actually. So let's assign it to a variable called R and let's print R. Now let's go ahead and run the file. We get PHP, Ruby, Ruby, Python, and so on. And we can also print a random value for any data type. I mean, it's not limited to strings only. So let's comment these lines out. So let's have a second list. We'll call it R1. And we'll have a string. Let's have one, two, three, an integer, 5.5, .5, a float, true, a boolean. Now let's go ahead and create another variable. We'll call it RND. And this will be equal to the random module dot the same method that we have used above, which is choice. And here we will pass our list, which is R1. And let's print R and D. Right, let's clear the terminal. We get 5.5, true, string, true, string, 5.5. All right, one, two, three. Okay, so you get the idea. You can also use a function within the random module to shuffle the items in the list. So we can add more randomness to it. Let's actually create a new list. We'll call it list. And let's have a string, a second string, integer, a float, a boolean, another integer, and another boolean. We will use the random module dot a method called shuffle. And what the shuffle method does, it changes the order of the elements inside the list. All right, so let me show you. Um, let's pass list and let's print the list. All right, so let's clear the terminal. So you see it's a different order of the elements. Here we start by string, we end by true. Here we start by true and we finish by second string. 
we'll play that again we'll have a different order a different order in a different order and shuffle works also on a list of homogeneous data types so we'll come in these lines out we can say shuffle on a list of numbers so let's have a list and this list will be equal to i and we will have a for loop on a range of 20 numbers so for i in range 20 then let's go ahead and do the same thing like we did above random dot shuffle and here we will pass the list and let's print list let's clear the terminal so you get a different order not from 0 to 20 in order and if we'll play the file one more time we get a different order a different order and a different order and we can also select a random number from a given range in steps we can use a method called rand range let me show you that so let's come in these lines out here let's say the rand range method so let's have a for loop for i in range let's say 10 numbers here we want to print again using the random module dot rand range and what trend range does it selects random numbers and these random numbers uh, are going to be between a floor and a ceiling so if you will say from 0 to 200 so we want to print 10 different numbers randomly between 0 and 200 let me clear the terminal and you get 10 different numbers um, randomly chosen between 0 and 200 all right so this is what trend range does all right perfect now let me show you final two examples the first is called coin and the second is called words all right let's start by coin so what we want to do in the coin program we will flip a virtual coin 10,000 times and we want to count how many times it will land on heads or tails so let's go ahead and create a dictionary we'll call it output and the output dictionary will have usual key value pairs so uh, heads as a key or as a first key and has a value of zero similarly with tails and as I want to utilize the heads and tails only the keys not these values I will create a second variable I will call it coin and I will use the list method and inside I will pass the output dictionary dot a method called keys and keys method is a dictionary method basically and it returns um, the keys of this dictionary as a list all right and let me show you what coin has so if we'll print coin python z1 underscore coin dot py we get heads and tails in a list all right so now the idea is clear and now let's iterate over a range of 10,000 so for i in range 10,000 we will take the output and each time it will land on heads we will append it to heads and each time it will land on tails we will append it to tails um, we will use the random module dot choice the method that we have seen in the previous examples and in the argument we will have the coin in each iteration of the 10,000 times I want to append randomly the heads to the heads and the tails to the tails now let's go ahead and print so we'll say heads concatenate with the output subheads and similarly with tails okay so let's check it out so you get heads 4971 times and tails 5029 times and every time you run the file you will get a different outcome all right the second example that I want to show you is words.py or z2 underscore words.py and in this final interesting example we are going to use a text file that contains around 170,000 words and this is the file right here words.txt you can see it contains around 170,000 words first thing that I want to do is I want to print say random word finder and a quick description so we can say so it's just a description 
uh, for the program and what it does. Now let's get the input from the user. So we'll create a variable called words number and words number is equal to input because we want to ask the user for how many words and don't forget to wrap the input in int method because we want it in the form of integer and not a string. Next what I want to do is I want to open the text file. So with open and the first argument should be the path and the second argument should be the mode. And we have different modes for uh, opening files. We have write, we have read, we have RT and RT is the mode that we're going to use and it's used to read a file as text. So RT like that as F for instance. Okay now what I want is to create a variable called words and this will be equal to the F which is basically the file dot a method called read lines as we want to read all the lines in the text file. And just a side note when you use with as in opening a file you don't have to close the file by the end of it because Python takes care of closing the file for you. So let's create words or overwrite words and this will be equal to any character that you like let's say w dot a method called r strip and r strip removes the trailing characters I mean the characters at the end of a string for w in words. Alright, so now we have a list called words, contains all the words inside the file. Now let's go ahead and print a random number of words. So we will say for w in the random module dot a method called sample. And what sample does, it will take the number that you will enter and it will choose based on that number random words from the words list. So the first argument we will have is the words list. And the second argument is going to be the words number. And let's go ahead and print w or that iterator. Let's just add two lines. All right, let's run the file python z2 underscore words dot py. How many words shall I choose? Let's say 10 words. Hit enter and you get 10 random words. This what sample method does. It chooses random words based on the number that you have entered. If we we'll run the file one more time and let's say for instance 50. We get 50 different words. Let's say 2. All right. All right. So you see the idea. So this is the end of the random module video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.